In this video, we made an air cannon. We made a 100 PSI air cannon out of Schedule 40 PVC and ball valve. Excuse me, your kids are outside with a handmade weapon? You know how dangerous that is? I'm leaving. This is really dangerous, but we've done a lot of research and we have a decent idea of what the limits of this air cannon is. We're being safe and we know we've built this correctly and we're aware of the consequences if we use this incorrectly. Hey, Kyson, I was thinking we could add nails to the end of this and shoot it out of the air oh cannon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Right, we got our PVC cut now, and now we have the ball valve cemented together, attaching those two pieces. We also got the tire valve on the end cap for our PVC, so this way we can fill it up with air. All we need to do now is cement this on the end of the, of the launcher here and let it dry and we're done. Okay, so building this thing was actually really easy. We got a three foot long section of PVC pipe and cut it in half. Then we put our ball valve to connect those two, cemented that up. Then we got a Schrader tire valve and drilled a hole into the end cap and screwed the tire valve on. And then we put the cap on and then we're done. Okay, I thought last week's full length video did really good. I was really proud of that one. You got how many views? Um, about, I think 200 in the first week. That was pretty good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also thought shorts did pretty well this week. I think we averaged around 1,000. I like that 3D printer one we did. I think that one turned out really good. That was a really good one. I like how you edited that one. Yeah, 1 1.5 thousand views, I think. So that was pretty nice. That's nice. Um, how about you? Well, um, I have some community posts planned. The past ones haven't done great, but I have some ideas for some more ones. We can get the audience engaged. Yeah, there we go. Um, what are we thinking about the next video? Um, so next week's video, I was thinking that we could do like a Nerf war. Okay. Um, here's some Nerf guns that I have. All right. Well, I was um, thinking we'd use them. I got this. Oh my goodness, what the? <laughs> okay, so before we put it in the video, I think we should probably test it out first. That's a good idea. What the heck? <laughs> That's not a Nerf dart. <laughs> okay, all jokes aside, what does a Nerf dart actually look okay, like? Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Jeez. Dude, I was scared this is gonna explode. But it didn't, we're good. <laughs> okay, maybe it isn't a good idea for a Nerf war. Yeah, all right, fine. So by now you should know that this is called an air cannon. But some people might know it as a pneumatic potato gun. This is not to be confused with a potato gun or a vortex cannon. Those are two different things. What an air cannon does is uses pressurized air in an air chamber and uses a valve to let all that air out at a time. Which means you can shoot pretty much whatever you want. Vortex cannons are usually made out of big garbage cans and use air to shoot rings of smoke. Potato guns use a fuel that you spray into the end and then push an igniter button to launch potatoes or other stuff. Okay, I'm bored. Let's shoot some stuff. Okay, so now we put cotton balls in there and we're gonna see how it does. Maybe you can use this in the mirror for. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Whoa! <laughs> okay, they all spread out. Oh, I did six on accident. Whoops. That 3D printed piece went so far though. But then Whoa. we did a rock. Oh! <laughs> What the heck? Dude, where'd those rocks go? They hit the fence. Find your multiple rocks now. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
How many rocks is that? Like five? A lot. <laughs> yeah, I got five rocks. Fun. Okay. Oh, you got a fly on your shoulder. Can you fly him off? <laughs> Do you get him? Oh, oh he dead. I'm ready. Oh, that was sick. It wasn't quite as powerful. It was kind of. It was kind of like a burst. Yeah. Like it. it yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, now I have rocks. Uh, there's a rock. Put it up. Yeah. So, with the summer coming up, people might need some help watering their lawns. I'm here to help with that. Oh! <laughs> what the <laughs> heck? That was cool! Oh! The capsule shot out so far! Holy smokes! Whoa! <laughs> hey! There it is. All right. <laughs> we also went to the park next door to shoot some babies. Foam babies, foam babies. Sorry, should have said that. So some of you guys might know, you need something to seal the air cannon to use all of that air coming out of the tube. So first we're using this little piece of styrofoam with some duct tape on it so it didn't disintegrate when you shot it. And that worked really well, except we realized we could 3D print something to the exact dimensions. So that's exactly what we did here. Oh geez. That's exactly what we did here with this piece. It's a little dinged up from shooting it so much, but it came out really well. And I don't know what these holes are for either. As you can see, it's flat at the bottom. So it just fits perfectly at the end and we can put whatever inside and this will push it all out using all of the air so air can't go around it. We also 3D printed these two projectiles but they didn't do very good because they're so white and they also disintegrated after shooting them at a fence so they didn't go very well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> This shot straight down. <laughs> oh. Yep. Holy. Jeez. Shot it all the way back oh, there. Man. Even when it's spinning, kind of. Ready? Yep. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> What the heck? It went one, two, how many? There's another piece over there. Thank you for watching everyone. We had a lot of fun building this. I highly recommend it if you can be safe with it. We're really proud of what we built and it was a lot of fun, so. Oh yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you enjoyed, leave a comment down below if you got any more ideas for us and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See you guys next time, uh, bye. Uh, 100 horsepower. <laughs> no way! That was awesome! I don't know how you did that! That's right guys, it's 100 horsepower. It's more than Hammerhead. <laughs>